I, I totally wasn't planning on talking about really quick, but I should bring this up because it's kind of important. This is this is you know this is this is full power, we're out of control, you know. And the people, you know, we, we got we got we got people to service with just our head assery and talking about whatever and shit, right? Our critical thinking, right? And uh, it was actually a question that our boy Nasir asked me in, in, in some DMs. And he asked me if I was going to be attending whatever, uh, well, a, I, won't, I won't reveal it because that would be a spoiler, I feel like. But he asked me if I was going to be attending a certain convention in the future. And I was like, I don't know. Why do you ask? And he's like, well, you see, something may happen. And he's like, y'all should go and do something. So I'm bringing this up, obviously, now. Because remember, I don't know, forever ago, when I would talk about the possibility of us doing like a live episode as a panel at a convention. Well, that might fucking happen in the near future. Just a thought. Just a thought. So uh, that, that would be, hey, hey, what do you guys think of that shit? That would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. That would be interesting. Yeah. So, Brandon, why would it be interesting? Because I feel like I know, but I just want to hear it from your mouth. Why do you think it would be interesting if we did a live episode in front of people? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they would they would see the live reaction, but in person. So, mm-hmm. that's one factor. Another mm-hmm. fact is probably, I mean, it's too, It's I feel like it's a lot easier to troll in person. So, we, they would, like, if we actually were to have a panel, then... People will probably get some dumbass questions, <laughs> and, and like, there it is. I mean, if that happens, that's cool. But <laughs> I mean, you know, it's part of the whole thing. Kai, you uh, on the same wavelength there, or you got anything else? I mean, how exactly does that work? You just get to reserve one. You don't have to like be somebody super special or get an invitation or a reservation or like. I have no idea how that shit works. Um, in a lot of cases, I mean, it really depends on the convention themselves, but I mean, usually, yeah, I mean, you're, you're not wrong either. Like if, if we were like, you know, on some trash taste podcast levels of fucking popularity, right? Exactly. Then we would be getting invites free. Um, but you know, as, as much as we are loved by our fans right now, our community right now, um, we need more of you. Clearly, right? In order to have that kind of treatment or offers or whatever the case is. But, you know, I'm sure we'll get there um, in time. And and I'm not worried about that, to be honest. But I feel like there could also be opportunities to just apply, I guess. You know, kind of like anything else, you know? Like, I look at it as treating it almost like a sponsorship or, you know, like any kind of like business relation opportunity where you kind of just shoot your shot and be like hey like this is what we do and it'd be cool if we could do what we do at your convention so and if they say yes cool if they say no cool like all right well um and i and i know a lot of times you know for cons they're, they're always looking to fill time throughout the you know the convention because you know i know a lot of people usually just go to just spend money but Outside of that, people do go to check out the panels and stuff. And when I did my panel years back, I was surprised to find that, pe- like, I filled the room, you know? Like, people showed up to hear me talk about Broly. And that was fire, right? That was great. So, who knows, man? Um, it would be awesome. So, I mean, leave a comment in, you know, the comments below. Shoot us an email, tweet us, whatever. If you guys would want to see us do this at a convention... Let us know, and we'll see what we can bring to y'all in the future, because I would love to do that. And <laughs> what Brandon said, right? This is the funny part. I was, I was, I always imagine things. I, I think about these certain situations, right? And I'm like, so what if we did do a live episode in front of people? And... <laughs> 
And we had some wild fucking shit being said. Because the thing with, with a panel like ours, right? Is I feel like if we were in front of people, like even when we did a live one on YouTube, we essentially were referencing chat. In a sense, like the in-person version would be like, I'd imagine a line, you know, like there would be a microphone in front of, you know, whatever. And people would be like, all right, well, if you got a question, you just fucking go up to the mic and then boom, like and they form the line or whatever. And then we kind of go off of that. And then that's how the episode would formulate itself. So at some point, maybe someone asked something not so of the variety that we're looking for. And you know, that hell will happen, I'm sure. Not so of the variety <laughs> we're looking for. Oh, now that's a way to fucking put it. That's a way to put it. You know, that's, that's a way to put it. Because I mean, listen, man, we already know. Not every listen, and this and this is a normal thing. People go to these conventions, whether they're new and they know us, or they knew and they've never heard us, or they're returning listeners and they're finally getting to experience us live. I know that certain people will know like how to present a question to us or whatever. Not to say like we're gonna shit on the shit ones, right? But you'll know from our reactions if what you just asked was on some head ass. Right, and I think, I think when when and if that does happen, I'm just gonna have to take it over, and that's okay, because I'm gonna be looking at you, I'm gonna be looking at you, and y'all are gonna be like this. <laughs> <laughs> I might just I might just say get him out. Yeah, yeah I was gonna out. say Brad is gonna be like yo back of the line. Oh shit, nah that. That'd be funny. It would be it would be cool if we could if I could set it up to where I had access to playing the sound effects like to everybody, you know? That'd be nice to get like the real experience. That'd be kind of dope. But we won't know until it happens. So let us know if you guys want to see us live then, you know, drop that comment. Uh, let the people know, let your, your let your favorite convention know that you want to see the full power podcast live and in person at their convention. Oh, that's that good shit.